Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another shopping list video. In this video, I'm going to be covering Stone Cold, Celsius, and Disney. Now, disclaimer, you should definitely not buy this stock just because I am looking at them. I am not planning to buy these stocks until they have some sort of further pullback. I am in Disney, but for Stone Cold and Celsius, I am still waiting for an opportunity. Now, first off, we have Stone Cold. Now, the reason I'm looking at Stone Cold is actually based more so on a fundamental reason. Uh, the reason is that their EV to EBITDA is 0 0.44 and they're overall just, you know, um, undervalued based on your know, valuation metrics. And I think the reason for that, I think why um, people are not putting money into this company is because they are more centralized in Brazil. Now, that doesn't mean, you know, Brazil is a, a bad economy or anything. It, it, I think it's just more concerned on whether they can expand beyond Brazil um, we are seeing a lot of payment companies right now sort of localized in certain areas. And we're also seeing you know, the rise of sort of fat now type products where the government itself tries to um, intermediate uh, transactions and they can do so in a very, very cheap cost. Um, unlike, you know, payment processors like Stone Co, who, who are public companies and they have to make margins, right? So that's the concern there that's why i think most of the uh, uh stone coast valuation is so low and just looking at the technicals right now it has had a huge run up here right before earnings uh, so we are seeing the overall macro improve and i think the overall confidence gets um increased so that's why a lot of speculative stocks right now are increasing and you'll notice that i haven't done a shopping list video for the last two months um, because the macro has been bad but right now it seems to be improving so that's why i feel confident sort of looking at more speculative stocks right now once again just because i say uh, i'm looking at these stocks doesn't mean you should buy it do your own research so on the one day chart it looks like their rsi is um you know about 62 right now personally i will wait for this to, to go down a little bit further i have a alert at 10 dollars, so if it gets there i will you know try to look at this stock again if it doesn't get there then it's likely I will never get interested in this stock. But the other thing is that I want to see what happens on their earnings. You know, maybe they want to expand or maybe they have, you know, huge revenue growth in Brazil. I don't know. We will have to see for that. But right now, I'm just waiting for some sort of pullback on Stone Co. If not, then, you know, um, Stone Co. might continue to grow. And I, I don't think it's not, I don't think it's dumb to get in on a, a rising stock either um but yeah that is stone Co. so next stock i want to look at is celsius now i've been talking to john a, a little bit about celsius and apparently in america it has become very very popular um as a drink i also uh, actually watched a podcast on celsius as well and they were very very bullish on the stock once again i still think celsius based on a technical perspective still has to drop a little bit here you can see that i have alerts at about 150 where there will be sort of a uh, double or triple bottom that it has to either hold or if it breaks down then i think it might be some sort of buying opportunity and my other alert is about uh, 190 so that would actually signify that it has broken out um actually no i should have put this alert at about 175 so if it breaks out uh, beyond 175 to let's say 180 then i'll consider that a breakout so you can see that the overall trend here is that this 175 level is a huge huge resistance level for um, celsius and they have earnings in i think two days uh, or rather three days so this would be yeah, tuesday and yeah celsius is going to have to do something very good on their earnings to grow even further my sort of um i guess estimate for celsius is that they're gonna do what monster beverage did in 2010 but because celsius is a healthy drink the rate of adoption is probably likely going to increase right now uh sorry right now we are you know humans as as a whole are on a health kick we don't want to do anything unhealthy you know we are seeing the rise of ozempic even though um we are actually not sure whether ozempic is healthy or not but we want to be healthy right and that is why i think celsius is going to grow in the future and we'll see what happens um, but this is their very quick fundamentals here 
they have no debt which is something that really really stands out to me especially now when the interest rates are five percent um revenue increasing like crazy net income is also positive so nothing wrong with that cash flow they are you know cash flow positive operating expenses seem to be dropping apparently this is because the cost to transport their um, drinks are actually lesser um, they actually work with pepsi to distribute out their um, celsius drinks and also apparently the cost of aluminum went down so that's why their operating expenses also went down and it looks like they are diluting a little bit i think that's fine i would rather them dilute than get into debt so you know one thing to look out for is that they are diluting and the other headwind is that um the founder of celsius just died a couple of months ago i think and the problem is that um, it's possible that uh the stocks that he held which is now held by his family they might consider selling some of the uh, stocks here so that could be a possible downside for celsius but once again i am waiting for that i'm waiting for celsius to either break down from 150 or um, have a support at 150 in order to see whether it is a buying opportunity now i will say though i am running out of liquidity very very quickly um and yeah I, i'm not sure if i'll buy into this stock but this is a very very interesting stock and i will definitely keep a lookout on celsius now the next stock i'm pretty sure people hate this stock this is disney and i i you know i know the reason why it has not been a good performer um since i think well it has never ever been a good performer but i think right now disney is actually valued as a sort of value play so you can see that their price to sales is 1.77 price to book 1.59 so that's very very undervalued uh enterprise value to revenue is two uh so that is i think that's like twice their revenue right and enterprise value to EBITDA is actually pretty high so i think that is actually a bad uh, metric there so let's look at the techniques of um, disney right now you can see that we have sort of a, a triple top at about 86 or 87 so it's not able to break out above 86 uh, we just saw them buy hulu i'm going to go through the google trends for that and they have a you know the, the bottom of the training range is about 80 dollars so um that is you know disney's um technicals right so let's just uh, looking at the rsi right now rsi is still bullish but once again it is very very high so once again if you are um new in uh or you want to start investing in disney i will probably wait for some sort of pullback although they do have earnings very very soon they have earnings on wednesday 8 november and i i think um i think they're going to actually do fine um what they need to do is that they need to change the direction of their movies and shows to to less of um you know pandering and if they can do that and they can increase their revenue from movies and shows that's going to be extremely good but uh, i don't know if they'll be able to do that um and the other thing is that i want their disney parks to actually increase revenue i think right now they are actually pretty popular they are not losing any customers um and that the, the, we, we saw them increase the price of their disney parks and the only reason they can do that is because they have an unprecedented amount of demand right demand um and that's why i think their parks is likely going to be a bullish thing for um the next few uh few years right and they're also i think working on cruisers if not they already have cruisers i'm actually not sure about that and yeah so that is the technicals and sort of financials of disney and you'll notice that disney recently had a jump um the last few days here and that's because they bought hulu plus now i'm not a a huge sort of um uh broadcaster or streaming guy i i don't um buy any of these subscription the only subscription i have is amazon prime and i i do watch prime video but that's only because i have amazon prime i don't spend money on subscriptions other than youtube premium and amazon prime so uh i'm not actually sure what hulu has in their you know uh categories um so I, i'm not exactly sure about hulu's products but the only reason disney went up is because when you acquire a company you actually turn that cash into directly into market cap so that's why um disney went up 
and I, I want to look at the search trends for you know all these streaming companies. Um, I do this a lot, but the the simple fact is that Netflix is beating all of them um, to the ground here. Netflix, um, uh, well, they are trending down, but they are still the most popular of the of the three um, uh, streaming services that I'm comparing. I'm sure I'm missing one here, but that is uh, okay. So let's remove Netflix. Let's see what they do, and they are pretty much equal. So I think Disney Plus. Or rather, Disney just acquired uh, a second Disney. So, um, you know, if I look at the profitability of that, um, their streaming services, I'm actually not sure about that. Uh, but yeah, um, that's why Disney went up. And, you know, you can see that all the streaming services are uh, not very, very popular right now. So I don't know about Disney right now. Um, I definitely still have a position in it. I'm not selling until I get a profit out of it. So my target for Disney is about $100. And yeah, let's see if it can break out here. Let's see what they do on their next earnings. Also notice that all three of these have earnings very, very soon. So definitely just wait for earnings. But I think um, all these three companies are going to be very, very interesting for the next coming uh, weeks or months. And that is why I am putting them on my shopping list. So thank you guys for watching. This has been a shopping list video and see you in the next one.